Hey guys, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and today I'm going to be doing a video that I should have done a while ago. That being my thoughts and opinions on Ruby Ice Kingdom. Now, for those who don't know what Ruby Ice Kingdom is, I suggest you go check it out yourself. Because to me, Ruby Ice Kingdom is actually really good, in my opinion, at least. Now, when I first heard about we were getting a Ruby anime, I was actually really shocked. And I didn't expect that we would be getting a Ruby anime. I honestly thought that... I thought this sort of anime would be more like rather a spin-off or a prequel or etc. But instead, this series quite literally takes place sort of within Volume 1 of Ruby and 2. Now, when I first saw the trailer, I actually freaked out because I actually really liked it. I actually really liked the music and how the way the story was basically was at. And people thought that they were going to be doing the entire Ruby series, but as in anime form. Which, that would be kind of stupid, but once when I saw the real threat and the real part of the story, which was basically saving Weiss from her nightmare, sort of. That was more understandable. But there are some major differences between Ice Queendom and the actual Ruby series. And I don't know if the events that happened within Ice Queendom are actually canon to the actual story. And, well, despite me actually liking Ruby Ice Queendom, it didn't solve two of my problems. My first problem being, oh boy, Super Burning Godzilla, you're going to hate me for this, but it's Weiss. Weiss is my first problem with the series. Now, for starters, I am not that big of a fan of Weiss. If anything, I kind of think she's more like a jerk. Mainly because of how the way her role turned out in the Ruby volume, in the actual Ruby vault in the actual Ruby series. Let's take a little flashback, shall we? Let's go all the way back to Ruby Volume 1. Now, back in Ruby Volume 1, Weiss sort of did not get along with Ruby at all. If anything, she was more like an asshole. She always judged Ruby's leadership. Let alone, she kind of despised Ruby from being a leader.
considering multiple times that she said that she studied and trained her entire life. When clearly studying or training has nothing to do with you becoming a good leader. If anything, if Weiss became the leader, I think she would be a very abusive leader, honestly. Like, I know eventually she started to realize why Ruby was chosen to be a leader, and she eventually stopped being a jerk. But I just flat out despise White, and I frankly kind of wanted to basically be like, alright, that's it. Yeah, I had it. I had it. If the villains don't kill Weiss, I'm gonna do it. Because I don't appreciate anyone talking smack about Ruby like that. Because, for one, Ruby is, well, an inspiring character. She inspires people to keep moving forward. She's a good leader. With a good heart. And I can see why Austin chose Ruby to be the leader. But for White to just to flat out judge Ruby's leadership and declare her as a child and freaking just be like, oh, you're like the worst leader ever, or I'm way better than you. That is the reason why I just flat out hate White. And Ruby Ice Kingdom clearly did not fix that for me. If anything, it made it worse. Not to mention the fact that she quite literally allowed Jean to yell at Ruby back in Ruby Volume 9, Episode 7, despite Ruby being quote unquote best friend. That's right, I said it, I said it. If she was Ruby's best friend, then why the hell did she allow Jean to yell at her? Hmm? Answer that question for me, folks. If she is Ruby's best friend, why did she allow Jean to yell at her? Best friends are supposed to have each other's back no matter what. But why just allowed Ruby to yell at, well not Ruby, hmm? she allowed Jean to yell at Ruby and freaking just, not only that, but in episode 2 of Ruby Ice, not Ice Kingdom, but in episode 2 of Ruby, volume 9, she noticed Ruby's strange behavior and didn't mention a word to anyone, let alone she didn't even ask Ruby what was wrong with her, which made me want to freaking be like, Are you that freaking dumb? Are you that dumb? I don't care if people call you the best girl. You are supposed to be Ruby's best friend, and you're just... Yell? And you're just gonna... Basically, be like, well, I'm just, I, I'm not gonna say anything about Ruby Strange's behavior here. So yeah, there, there's a reason why I like Winter better than White. I like Winter way better than White. And I will admit, White's new outfit in the Nightmare World is actually really interesting. I actually like that design. And the best ep the part and the best part of the series of Ice Cream was the whole fight scene between Nightmare Blake versus Nightmare White.
which to me, I felt like was going to happen in rather a future volume, or just kind of happened off screen. I felt like, I don't know why, but I felt like Blake versus White was going to happen. And it seemed just Blake just flat out destroy. White was just so entertaining. I wonder how Sir Burning got to feel seeing his waifu getting her butt whooped by Zillage Dolphin's waifu. I'm pretty sure he'll be like, okay, I did not see that coming. Because Blake, Nightmare Blake is just flat out a savage. And how the way she was just flat out roasting twice, let alone having her on the run, was just so freaking awesome. It was just amazing. It was just incredible. I just loved it. And I liked how Nightmare Wife was a little shocked about, like, a certain, like, line that Blake said that actually kind of offended her. She actually got offended. And I actually kind of liked Blake teaching Weiss a lesson, like kind of showing her who's boss. Despite Blake not being leader of Team Ruby, I appreciated freaking Blake teaching Weiss a lesson. The other thing I liked about Ruby Ice Queendom was it was kind of revealed how Ruby used her silver eyed powers for the first time. Like, I, again, I don't know if this is canon or not, but if this is canon, then I would actually like, I actually would like it if this is like the first time where Ruby uses her freaking. silver-eyed powers. Because if you remember correctly, the first time she really used it was back in Volume 3. It was where she used to defeat that giant Grim Dragon, or Wyvern, or whatever. And the second time was back at Haven. And the third time was at Mistral. Then the fourth time was at freaking Atlas. So, if this is canon, then this will technically be the first time she used it. Therefore, declaring the one part that was seen in freaking Atlas, where she used it to try to kill that the Grim Hound, then that will basically be the fifth time. So yeah, I actually really like Ruby Ice Queendom, and I heard rumors that we might get a season two. I don't know if that's confirmed. If we get a season two, that'll be great. And I kind of wonder if it'll take place in rather volume three, two, or even a n current volume. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about Ruby Ice Kingdom? Do you like it or do you hate it? Or do you think it's okay? Anyways, have a great day, and peace out.